Is it true that sharks can smell blood from miles away? And what about other aquatic animals like whales, dolphins, sea otters? We know they don't breathe underwater, so can they smell? These are the questions we'll be answering in this week's Deeper Dive. It is a common misconception that the primary use for a sea otter's snoot is for booping. <laughs> Perhaps this is because of their heart-shaped nostrils. In fact, sea otters actually have a very acute sense of smell. Smell, or olfaction, occurs when a chemical binds to a receptor in the nostril. And it has many functions, such as detecting something hazardous, like a gas or a fire. It often plays a role in taste. I'm sure many of us are aware that whenever you have a stuffy nose during your cold, the food just doesn't taste as good. I'll give you something different. Sorry, is that gross? And the smell of good food seems to make us more hungry. And that's because our sense of smell is responsible for about 80% of what we taste. As we learned in our last deeper dive, sea otters are one of the few marine mammals with a very good sense of taste. So it's not at all surprising that sea otters have a very acute sense of smell. Now, if you're a fan of this channel or you follow me on social media, you have probably seen videos of sniffing sea otters. And in my experience, each individual otter that I've ever worked with seems to have different preferences on smell. One of my favorite examples was a sea otter named Elfin that I worked with, who happened to be one of the most beautiful sea otters, but also really enjoyed the smell of my hair. You can see that in this picture of me when I was an intern over a decade ago. He also really enjoyed the smell of coffee. Same, same, honestly. Katmai, on the other hand, really seems to hate the smell of jello. And actually, all otters that I've ever worked with, come to think of it, seem to hate the smell of apples. I don't know why. In the wild, sea otters seem to use their sense of smell to detect danger, even more so than their sense of sight. Researchers have noted that when they approach sea otters in plain view, the animals tend to react sooner if the wind is blowing towards them. So if you're a fan of a certain sea otter live stream and you see them get startled by something, it's actually possible that they were startled by something that they smelled. Sea otters also use their keen sense of smell in order to detect whether or not their food is safe to eat. They tend to eat things like clams, mussels, abalone, lots of shellfish. Healthy shellfish smells fresh and mild, while bad shellfish has a very pungent and offensive odor. If you look closely, you can see Taz and Joey sniff each bite before putting it in their mouths. But what about animals like whales or dolphins who've completely lost the ability to taste? Well, they've also lost the ability to smell. And it makes sense when you think about it. You have to inhale in order to smell. And these animals live almost their entire lives under the water. Their nose is essentially their blowhole. And their esophagus and trachea are actually two separate pathways. And what about sea lions who have also largely lost the ability to taste? <laughs> oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Are you well? Well, they can't smell underwater and even out of water, the resting position of their nostrils is closed.
But believe it or not, sea lions are actually incredibly closely related to bears. Bears are known to have a very acute sense of smell, being able to smell a dead carcass for miles. And if you compare the skull of a bear to that of a sea lion, <laughs> you can actually see that they have very large nasal cavities. But sea lions don't use that sense of smell to hunt or detect prey. Instead, they use it socially. During breeding season, male stellar sea lions develop a very strong musk. It is a smell that can really only be described as pure testosterone. <laughs> and female sea lions can use this odor to find the males and where they've established their rookeries. Female sea lions will also use smell in order to detect where their pup is. However, mom sea lions are not the only ones who can smell their pups. Their top predator also has an acute sense of smell. So can a shark really smell blood that's a mile away? First, let's talk about how sharks smell. Underneath their snout is two openings called nares. Each nair contains sensitive skin folds that are packed with sensors. When water passes through the nair and over the skin folds, those sensors detect chemicals and send a signal to the shark's brain. And about two thirds of the shark's brain is made up of olfactory lobes designed for smelling. Sharks can detect their prey at one part per 10 billion. That's one drop of blood in an Olympic sized swimming pool. But can they really smell that blood from miles away? That's a bit bigger than an Olympic sized swimming pool. Some sharks can detect extremely low concentrations of substances from extreme distances, up to several hundred meters. And while that is the length of a football field, it is definitely short of a mile. And it would still take time for the scent of the blood to reach the shark's nostrils. The amount of time depends greatly on the currents of the ocean, other animals, even other smells. So it could take up to minutes, even hours, for a scent to reach a shark's nose. However, sharks can follow a trail of blood to the source, using a similar method to the way that mammals detect sound. A recent study showed that sharks can detect even the slightest difference in time that it takes for the scent of blood or any other chemical to reach one or the other of their nares. So essentially, the nares work in stereo and the shark will turn towards whichever nair smelt it first. <laughs> So hopefully that answered some of your burning questions about how aquatic animals smell. But one question still remains, which snoot is the cutest? I'd ask you to put your answers in the comments down below, but I feel like I already know what you will say. <laughs> So enjoy some sea otter snoots while I thank my Patreons. And I'll catch you next time when we take our next deeper dive into the five traditional senses, hearing. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Joe. And if you compare the skull of a, can I be holding it? Of a bear? Hold on. And female sea lions can smell these guys from miles away. I don't know if that's true. I knew how you were going to be